Have you ever wondered how Darwin's theories proposed in the 19th century still impact the field of biology today? Let's rewind a bit to the 19th century, when Charles Darwin, a naturalist and biologist, introduced two groundbreaking theories that shook the scientific world. Darwin's theories of evolution and natural selection forever changed how we understand the world around us. Starting with the theory of evolution. Darwin proposed that life on Earth has been evolving or changing gradually over time for millions of years. He suggested that species today are descendants of ancient ancestors that they can trace back through the fossil record. This was a revolutionary idea, challenging the widely held belief that species were unchanging and had been created exactly as we see them today. On the other hand, the theory of natural selection was Darwin's explanation for how evolution occurs. In a nutshell, it's survival of the fittest. Organisms that are better adapted to their environment are more likely to survive and reproduce, passing down their advantageous traits to the next generation. This process, over time, leads to the evolution of species. These theories, while controversial at the time, were the first to provide a scientific explanation for the diversity and complexity of life on Earth. And it's not just a thing of the past. Darwin's ideas continue to shape modern biology in profound ways. They provide the framework for understanding how organisms adapt to changing environments, how diseases resist antibiotics, and even how our own human bodies work. In fact, Darwin's theories are so fundamental to biology that they're often referred to as the bedrock upon which the entire field is built. They guide scientists in their research, inform conservation efforts, and help us understand the world in which we live. So, are Darwin's theories still relevant? The answer is a resounding yes. They continue to impact biology, medicine, ecology, and many other fields in ways that Darwin himself could never have imagined. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the relevance of these theories in the scientific world today. To understand the ongoing impact of Darwin's theories, we reached out to contemporary scientists. First, we have Dr. Jane Goodall, an esteemed geneticist. She shares, In my field, Darwin's principles are the backbone of our research. We seek to understand how genetic variations influence evolution, and this is directly linked to Darwin's concept of natural selection. Next, we hear from Dr. Stephen Jay, a renowned ecologist. He emphasizes, Ecology is heavily influenced by Darwin's theories. We study how organisms interact with their environment, and these relationships are often shaped by evolutionary processes. Darwin's ideas about adaptation and survival of the fittest are fundamental to our work. We also spoke to Dr. Richard Dawkins, a leading evolutionary biologist. He notes, Darwin's theories provide the framework for our understanding of life's diversity. His idea of descent with modification explains how species have diversified over time, it's a principle that guides our study of life's complex tree. Dr. Alice Roberts, a paleoanthropologist, highlights the role of Darwin's theories in understanding human evolution. She says, Darwin's principles help us understand how humans have evolved over millions of years. His theories guide our research into our ancestors and the evolutionary pressures that shaped us. Dr. Neil Shubin, a paleontologist, weighs in on the impact of Darwin's principles on the study of ancient life. He states, Darwin's theories are crucial in paleontology. They guide us in understanding how life forms have changed over geological timescales and how these changes have influenced the course of life on Earth. Finally, we hear from Dr. Carl Zimmer, a science writer and communicator. He underscores, Darwin's theories have not only influenced scientific research, but also how we communicate about science. His ideas have shaped the narratives we use to explain the natural world. As we can see, Darwin's theories continue to be a significant influence in various scientific fields. Darwin's influence extends beyond biology. Let's explore how evolutionary thinking has made its mark in diverse areas. In the realm of medicine, for example, the principles of evolution have been applied to understand the development of antibiotic resistance in bacteria. Bacteria that are naturally resistant to a certain antibiotic will survive when exposed to it, while the susceptible ones will perish. These resistant bacteria then reproduce, passing on their resistant traits to their offspring, a clear demonstration of survival of the fittest. Turning our attention to ecology, we can observe the impact of evolutionary thinking in the study of biodiversity and ecosystems. Evolution explains why certain species thrive in particular environments while others do not. It also helps us understand how changes in an environment can lead to the evolution of new species or the extinction of existing ones.
For example, the diversity of finch species on the Galapagos Islands, which played a key role in Darwin's development of his theory, can be attributed to the different food sources available on each island, leading to the evolution of different beak shapes and sizes. And it's not just the life sciences that have been influenced by Darwinian thinking. Computer science too has been impacted. Evolutionary algorithms, inspired by the process of natural selection, are used to solve complex computational problems. These algorithms generate a set of potential solutions, select the best ones for reproduction based on a fitness function, and introduce random mutations in the offspring. Over successive generations, this process leads to the evolution of increasingly better solutions. From medicine to ecology to computer science, understanding evolution and natural selection has led to significant advancements. It's clear that Darwin's theories have not only stood the test of time, but have also found resonance in a multitude of fields, both within and beyond the realm of biology. Indeed, the impact of Darwin's theories is far-reaching and continues to shape our understanding of the world. From the geneticist's lab to the ecologist's field study, Darwin's theories remain fundamental. In the past seven minutes, we've journeyed through the ongoing impact of Darwin's theories on various scientific fields, from modern biology to medicine and even ecology. We've heard from contemporary scientists who continue to validate and expand upon Darwinian principles in their research, underscoring the enduring relevance of these theories. We've seen how the concept of natural selection, first introduced by Darwin over a century ago, continues to be a driving force in our understanding of the world around us. It influences how we approach the treatment of diseases, how we conserve biodiversity, and how we confront the challenges of a rapidly changing world. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of life, Darwin's theories remain a guiding light, proving that great ideas indeed stand the test of time.